If I had to choose one thing I would eat for the rest of my life, every day, it would be these creamy garlic and herb mashed potatoes. They are so good, so creamy, so delicious, and so rich. And they will make the perfect side dish for any of your holiday dinners or for a cool and calm night where you're feeling a little spicy. You wanna make them from date night? Let me tell you, these will be a winner. So we're gonna start off by peeling our potatoes. You want about four to five potatoes. We're using russets. These are pretty big, so I only am using four today. But these are a good size. I like, I like when I find potatoes this size because you get more stretch for it. There are a couple of secrets when it comes to perfecting mashed potatoes. And one of those secrets are using cold butter. Now, I like to use heavy cream and butter in my mashed potatoes because it just makes them extra silky, extra luxurious. But when you're mixing in the butter, you want to leave it cold because emulsification happens. And that makes your mashed potatoes just shiny, creamy, delicious. It's unreal. You'll see a big difference when you emulsify cold butter into potatoes instead of heating it up along with the heavy cream. So I gave those potatoes a rinse and now I have this pot of cold water here. We want to put the potatoes directly into cold water. I didn't put too much because we don't want too much water in potatoes either. But I'm just going to cut this in half. And you don't want pieces that are too big, but you don't want them to be too small either. So about this size. It's pretty large, it's not too tiny. And you want to put them right into your cold water. So we're gonna do that with all of our potatoes. And with pieces this size, the potato should cook in about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how high your stove runs. We don't want them at a boil. We're gonna leave them at a gentle simmer because we don't want the potatoes to be broken up by the rapid boil. So this amount of water is perfect. It's like right above the potatoes. It's not excess, it's not too much. And we're just going to use some garlic cloves. Now the amount, I would say, if you're not that much of a garlic fan, three cloves is fine. I'm a garlic girl, so five cloves will be going into my mashed potatoes today. So we're just cutting off the bottoms and then smashing them. And it should come out really easily. And we're going to throw the garlic right into the pot. Now for the herbs, we have some rosemary here. This is about one sprig. And then we have some thyme. Thyme is my favorite flavor to accompany potatoes. So we're gonna use quite a bit of that. I'd say like four to five sprigs. And just throw that right in your pot. Now we're gonna salt these potatoes because potatoes need a lot of salt, so don't be shy about it. Salt the potatoes and also add some olive oil to the top, just a drizzle. And now we're gonna get this onto the stove on medium heat and bring it to a simmer. To start, we're gonna put our potatoes over a medium, medium high flame. Once they start simmering, let them go for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can skim all the impurities off the top with a spoon. And I like to put the spoon in some hot water so that it rinses away those impurities and I can take more off the top. At this point, you wanna heat up one cup of heavy cream so that we can add it while it's warm into the potatoes. I'm gonna remove the woody herbs, the thyme and the rosemary from the potatoes before I strain them into the colander. After your potatoes are fork tender, you can strain them out into a colander. And I'm gonna be using a potato ricer to mash my potatoes. So I put the potatoes inside the ricer and I push down on the handle and it comes out on the end really fluffy and mashed so I won't have any lumps in my potatoes. If you don't have a potato ricer, you can use a potato masher. It works just the same. And if you don't have that, just use a fork. It's not a big deal. Some potatoes will be a little thicker or more lumpy than others, but that's fine. After all of your potatoes are mashed into the same pot they cooked in, put that pot back on the heat and let the potatoes steam out a little bit. We wanna remove as much water from the potatoes as possible so that we can incorporate more fat. Add in your heavy cream half at a time, so I'm only doing half and then I'll do half later, and mix it all to combine. Once all of your heavy cream is incorporated, remove the potatoes from the heat 
and you can add in your cold cube butter. I have about two tablespoons of unsalted butter here and I'm just throwing in half at a time and mixing it well until the butter is emulsified. This is going to make our potatoes super shiny and super silky. So we're not just melting the butter in there, but we're incorporating it into the potatoes. And our last step is to season with salt and white pepper. I like the flavor that white pepper gives us, but if you don't have that, you can use black pepper as well. Always remember to taste while you're seasoning so that you don't overdo it or underdo it. I'm plating the mashed potatoes into a small bowl. You can see just how creamy these mashed potatoes are. I'm also going to top them off with some fresh picked thyme and two pats of butter. This easy side dish only took about 30 minutes to make so it's the perfect accompaniment to any main dish. That's it for our creamy mashed potatoes. They're so good. It transports me to a good place. I, I, I can eat this. I'm telling you, every day of my life. I will not be mad at it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll leave all the links in the description, the recipe link, my website, everything. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.